I'm not used to a quiet church. I don't know about you. And my, my church know me. I, uh, God gave me a little gift. And I like to use it wherever I go. So now I want you to join in with me because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not used to everybody being quiet. All right? All right? So Bubba, come on with me. Send it on down, Lord. Send it on down.
Now we're going to do one more. Get out of your way. Lean on the knees.
light on my life to shine on me. How many of you know you want to shine on me? Because each and every day we go through things in this life, walk of life. And we just need to lean on Jesus. We need to trust in him. And we always want that light to shine on us. Amen? Amen. Let's give them another hand clap and pray. A little beautiful song. Next we will have our New Macedonia Baptist Church deacons. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, but there's something deep on telling me that go on. Go
Parents have a mission. Say it. Yes. Churches have a mission. Yes. And the Atlanta Missionary Baptist Association has a mission. Mm -hmm. And theirs is wrapped up in their theme. Exalt the Savior. Uh -huh. Equip the Savior. Yeah. And evangelize the sinner. Yeah. And that is the mission I want to focus on today. Okay. Examining the text before us, I found three things we can do to help us accomplish the mission. The first thing is that we have a real Messiah. Yes, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. Look at verse number 18. Uh -huh. Jesus has all power in heaven and earth. Yeah. 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 There have been a countless number of people who proclaim to be the Messiah. Well, yeah. Joe Smith, you know him, he was the head of the Mormons. Uh -huh. Charles Russell, he was the head of Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, now let me stop right there and say I'm not a Jehovah's Witness, but I am a witness for Jehovah. Right. Yes, David Koresh said he was the Messiah. Yes. Jim Jones said he was the Messiah. Yes. Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Nettles said they were the Messiah. Yes. Charles Manson said he was the Messiah. Yes. I am sure there are many more people that said they were the Messiah. Yes. But there is only one real Messiah. Yes. Look at the text. The text says that he has all power in heaven and earth. Yes, that is the Savior that we can exalt. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. We have a real Messiah. Yes. We have a Messiah that we can call at any time. Yes. We have a Messiah that's there for us night and day. Yes. We have a Messiah that, is, that we can call right now if we want to. All right, yes. Now sometimes people may not remember this to say Messiah. So sometimes you have to say that he is the creator. Yes. He is the way out. He is our conquest. Yeah. He is our kinsman and redeemer. Yeah. He is our comforter in times of trouble. Yeah. He is the good shepherd. He is the rose of shepherd. Yeah. He's the prince of peace. He's the bottom of guilty. He's the wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's the author and finisher of our face. He's the author and author and the the beginning and the end. He's the lion in the tribe of Judah. He's the lamb of, lamb of God. He's the word of God. He's the king of kings. He's Lord of Lord. He's the real Messiah. And if you can't remember all those names, just call him Jesus. Just call him Jesus. Oh, he's the real Messiah. And you can call him night and day. You just call him Jesus. I told you I was in fourth gear. I'm getting ready to shift and fit in the number now. Now we get look now we have the real Messiah. The next thing we have to do is we got to be ready to move. Look at verse 19. It says, go. That word go really means that you should already be moving. All right, all right. If you want to equip the saint and evangelize the sinner, you have to be on the move. You can't, you, you have to be ready to move. In season and out of season, you have to be ready to move. In sunshine and rain, you have to be ready to move. In a crowd of people or if you're by yourself, you have to be ready to move no matter what it is. If you want to accomplish a mission, you have to be ready to move. You can't equip the worker or evangelize the sinner by sitting down. You have to be ready to move. You got to be ready to move. You got to be ready to move. While you're moving, you will find out that burdens will become lighter. Duties will become delightful. Friendships will become stronger. Hearts will become tender. Words will become sweeter. Problems will become solved. Questions will become answered. Lives will become richer. Hopes will become brighter. Skies will become bluer. Doors will become fuller. Songs will become glad. Are you ready to move? Are you going to move? Are you going to move for Jesus? Or are you just sitting there? You ain't moving. You got to move. Are you going to move for Jesus? Jesus wants us to move. And the scripture says go. You can't go if you ain't moving. You can't move sitting down. You got to move. Okay, 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 I'm almost done, I'm almost done. We have a real Messiah. We have to be ready to move. And the last thing, you have to relay the message. Let's, let's look at verse 20. Jesus is with us always. That's the message. Whether you accept him or reject him, he is still with us. Yeah. No matter how dark the night, Jesus is with us. Yeah. 
No matter what's going on in your life, Jesus is with us. Right. No matter what you're doing, Jesus is with us. Yes, yeah. If you really want to accomplish a mission, you better understand that Jesus yeah. is with us. Yeah. If you want to do anything, Jesus is with us. Right. No matter what's going on, Jesus is with yes, us. Is. No matter how bad it looks, Jesus is with us. Yeah. If you really want to equip people and save people, you better know that Jesus is with us. Uh, don't remember, always remember, they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting Jesus, but he's still with you. Yeah. No matter what you do, Jesus is always with us. Uh, he will be with us until every battle has been fought. He'll be with us until every tear has been shed. He'll be with us until every enemy has been conquered. He'll be with us until every, every fear has been faced. He'll be with us until every cross has been carried. He'll be with us until every temptation has been resisted. He'll be with us until every hill has been climbed. He'll be with us until every valley has been crossed. He'll be with us until every sick room has been visited. He'll be with us until every class has been taught. He'll be with us until every sinner has been witnessed to. Do you know that he's with us? And you better believe that he's with us. Huh? He's been with us ever since he's been here. And ever since he came down 42 generations, he's been with us. Huh? When he was down here walking around for 33 years, he was with us. Huh? When they nailed him to an old rugged cross, he was with us. Huh? While they had on that cross, he was with us. Huh? When they stuck him in Joseph's borrowed tomb, he was with us. When he got up at the tomb, he was still with us. Huh? He's with us right now.
accomplish the mission right now, then you have a problem. Because he just laid it out for you. He came out there and told you he was going to go get it. And he ran that thing on up and he came on in. He skipped fifth and went to sixth. So I, I don't know if you all caught that. But he missed the gear. He just went on up a little high. But we want to thank you for that message. Great message. May God continue to bless you. Right now, I'll bring Reverend uh, Cowboy up here. We're going to do the uh, gathering of the hymns with men from all of the churches. All the churches. All the churches. Thank <laughs> you.
Hey, you thought we were grown before we realized what the song was really saying. But I'm sure all of you all might have heard the song and know it. It's not an easy song to sing, but it's sung it all the time.
got about five minutes, then I'm going to bring up the moderator, and he's going to have one minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want, to, I want to thank all you guys. Everybody came out and participated in this. It was beautiful.
preach that we be busy. In fact, when we do the um, oratorical, I got to preach for preach out of town. So I understand, amen, and we still got to carry God's word. Amen. So we pray God for you, God for the gift of and we pray to God just continue to bless you. Would you look at the heel, Father? Thank you for this program. Thank you for putting in the mindset of Minister Calvert to bring these meetings from the end thought. The same praise is unto you. But we know when the praise go up, the blessing come down. So Father God, we ask that thou continue to bless each man that's in the house. Bless them overflow in the name of Jesus. Bless the ladies and mothers, the children, everybody that came out to make this program what it should be. Bless those that didn't even come. Lord, not being worthy, not feeling that they should come, but maybe they were busy. But whatever the reason was, bless them in the house. I heard you say one occasion, but give them so they know not what to do. Now, Lord, we praise your name. We lift you up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus.